guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, today we are gonna talk about something that happened to me on Tuesday and the amount of self-control that I've had to have to not open this is mind-blowing and I'm, I lack self-control when it comes to these things, so let's get to it. I don't know if this happens in all states, but where I live, when you are a Bloomingdale's card holder, you have, means you have your credit, their credit card, they have like this fashion event in September where you have to, in order to reserve your spot, you uh, buy a $25 gift card to use on that day. And they give you like breakfast, you have drinks, there's like a show, um, all the, um, most of the, you know, Chanel, Lancome, Estee Lauder, Jo Malone, uh, beauty and fragrance, um, staff give a presentation of new releases, upcoming releases, new things that have launched. They give you just a bunch of information. You get a, t a little baggie with a ton of samples. It's really, really fun. Well, for the first time, they did a fragrance and beauty only show. So this fashion show is not only a uh, beauty, but it's fragrance, the one in September. But the one in uh, March, was actually sorry april which was last week on the 13th uh it was brand new first time they ever did it it was only for fragrance and beauty and you had to buy a 15 dollars gift card and you got breakfast and it was just a lineup of all the beauty um most of the beauty lines at bloomingdale's out uh, there chanel was talking about their new launch um laura mercier javinci um Hermes what's the other one Saint Laurent Bobby Brown a whole bunch of just a whole bunch of beauty experts who were just talking about all the new launches you got a huge little like tote bag that was full of samples I mean the amount of samples that I got in that bag is gonna last me probably for the rest of the year it was amazing and then you got to use your $15 gift card and there was an event that if you spent 150 you got $15 off and that included beauty so without further ado let let, let me just get started I know this intro is like super long and I apologize skip through so sorry but you need to know this backstory to understand why I'm doing this video so Besides all these people, all these uh, beauty vendors and beauty counters, uh, Clarins and Chanel and Bobby Brown and Clinique, every um, state, every counter was having a different type of like freebie. So for example, Chanel, when you would go and you would purchase something from them, they'd give you like this huge Hydro Beauty sample, which is like a new uh how moisturizer and primer in one that they recently came out with you got like a 30-day um supply of that which is amazing all in samples and you got like um another like spf uh primer but you also got to enter into a raffle for a basket full of chanel goodies that were worth up to 300 dollars and so I made my purchase. I bought a couple of things from uh, Chanel and Jo Malone and I reached the 150 and I was able to use a gift card that I had and my $15 um, gift card that I had to purchase to reserve my spot for that event. And I got the $15 off because I spent 150 So all about budgeting, budgeting. Anyway, so I entered the raffle and on Tuesday, I got a text message from um, one of the uh, staff members at Chanel and they told me that I was the winner of the Chanel basket. And I want you to know that I screamed so loud I scared my husband. I did. And I'm sure he probably thought we won the lotto, but we didn't. For I mean, in my brain, we won the lotto. Cause like I never win anything, but this was like, the best thing to ever win like $300 worth of Chanel products like my mind is blown like I don't know what good deed I did to deserve this but I'm super excited super excited so they it wasn't a basket but I guess they took it out of the basket and they packaged it for me since I had to go pick it up 
look how cute it has like this little black um camellia chanel flower with the uh gold cc's now excuse my lighting it's storming um today i just got out of work and my hair's a hot mess sorry about that too but i cannot wait anymore to do this video because i was going to die literally going to die so in the box we have another chanel box with the black bow and chanel in gold this bow is new i really haven't seen this line so is that camellia flower because usually they give you like the white camellia flower so i i like it i like it so we're just gonna open this here i haven't seen anything that's in here i don't i don't know what's in here so i'm I like i'm excited i'm honestly i'm beyond words because I couldn't believe that I won. I was in a state of shock for a solid 20 minutes after I got the text message. But, you know, my reactions are usually delayed. So let me pop this open. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let me just really quick show you. There's like this plastic thing on the front to keep the products from falling out. And I'm going to pull each product out. I may not know <laughs> what each of these products are used for it but you know we're gonna we're gonna work through it mm -hmm. all right so we have a rouge coco uh le rouge hydration lipstick ultra high ultra hydrating lip color i'm sorry i can't read french and this is in color 452 emeline I just sorry for the glare and let's pop this baby open each one of these lipsticks retails for $38 wow that is a really pretty fuchsia color now for the springtime and the summer and I feel like this may be the same color as my Chanel lip gloss that I've been wearing lately which is 194 crazy fuchsia and you also have another lipstick in here this is a rouge allure velvet uh, lipstick in number 62 libre I already have this color <laughs> but let me just tell you it's a really pretty color and I don't mind having two of them so this is the lipstick that just pops open I mean look at this color that is a gorgeous nude and all of this like all of their um lipsticks are scented so keep that in mind next thing in here is the vital lumiere aqua taint taint i feel like i'm totally pronouncing that wrong in 30 beige i if any of you know what this is oh here it says an ultra light skin perfecting sunscreen makeup so it is a foundation that has spf 15 and 30 beige and this is a full size wow this is really really pretty really pretty okay Next, we have a, a rose bronze powder blush. And let me take this out of the bag. It comes in the velvet um, Chanel pouch. And when you pull it out, let me see what this color is. I just took off the plastic. Oh, wow. That is a really, really pretty summer shade. I love it. So if you guys would like, I can do like a first impressions um, using all these products. If you guys are interested in that, then leave me a comment below and I can go ahead and um, do that for you guys. Or I can do another video with like swatches of all this stuff if you want as well. Next, in the, the next item in here we have is a um waterproof long lasting eyeliner in 10 a bean i don't I, I don't know if that's black actually because is it black 
Yes, it's black. A black eyeliner. Waterproof. Okay. Next item in here is a uh, Le Beige, Le Beige's um, Healthy Glow Luminous Color Powder in Medium. Let's see what this is. I, I don't. By the way, I don't. The only item in here that I already have is the Libre um, lipstick. What is this? So this is the Le Beige's casing, which is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, okay. So this is a bronzer. I don't own any Chanel bronzers, so I am really excited to try this out. Also scented. And it comes with a Chanel uh, fluffy brush. So let me put that back on there. Now, although I know that Chanel products are scented, I do have to say the smell does not linger on your face at all. So do keep that in mind if you're somebody who is sensitive to smell. And the last and final item in here is a powder duo a i don't even know what this is powder oh i was totally reading that wrong it is a brow powder duo in 40 natural okay i don't i don't know what this is because <laughs> i don't do my eyebrows so we are about to find out so uh, everything comes in a black Chanel pouch, just so that you guys are aware, except for the eyeliner and the lipsticks. All right, so in here, oh, it's quite literally a complete eyebrow kit. You have a pair of Chanel tweezers. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, I just have to show you this, how cute. You have a tiny pair of Chanel tweezers that comes like in case in this plastic thing okay so you can just see how it's set up oh i just dropped everything where to go where to go okay then you have a little um chanel uh brush a spoolie for the powder i guess to like brush the powder onto your eyebrows uh, that's the brush and the spoolie is tiny guys it's, i'm sorry it's hard for me to grab it Here's the um, little uh, Chanel spoolie that comes with the case. And then you have your two powders that I'm thinking you're supposed to mix. But because um, my friend Maria is the eyebrow guru, I am sure that she will be more than happy to teach her beautiful friend how to use these foreign powders. Right, Maddie? Right, I'll be waiting for you because I know you're going to watch this video. All right. So pretty much that is everything in this box. If I'm not mistaken, I know that each um, lipstick is $38. The blush, I think, are $32. The eyeliners are also $32. I think the foundations are $60. I don't know how much the browns the br the bronzer is or the brow powder, but it seems to me that there is at least three hundred dollars uh, worth of products here. I will go ahead and list each item separately in the description box below, along with how much it costs and then the total worth net worth of this box. Honestly. I'm just so grateful that I even won because I would never have purchased some of these items that I don't have on my own. Uh, just because Chanel products are super expensive, so I'm very picky as to like what I order from them because I have to really like it. Um, you know, it's just it's a lot of money, so I I'm very conscientious about um, what I buy. However. Even if this gift box doesn't reach $300, I'm extremely grateful that I won this gift basket because I am floored by the amount of stuff that is in here. Like, honestly, 
they could have just given me a free blush and I would have been happy. Like, I would have been so grateful. But it's a whole basket. I'm really excited. I'm mostly excited for this um, Aqua uh, Ultra Light uh, Skin Perfecting Sunscreen Foundation. I have never tried this, but I'm super excited to try this and tell you guys all about it because summer is coming and I've been looking for a light, you know, foundation that has sunscreen in it that doesn't feel extremely greasy and oily, which tends to be the issue with like these lightweight um, foundations. I can never find like a mattifying one that actually does anything for my oily skin. I have high hopes. Anyway, that completes this video. If Again, if you guys want me to do a video swatching any of these things or doing like a first impressions using all these products, let me know in the comments below and I will get to that. But that completes this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you're as excited as me.